This video is sponsored by Sony Handycam. Gaming laptops are expensive and heavy. They are never meant to be taken off desk. But this laptop here is a little bit different. It isn't the thinnest laptop in the world, nor does it pack the fastest hardware internals. But it certainly won't resist the value that the Dell Inspiron 14 7000 series, aka the Pandora offers out of the box. This laptop packs the necessary power that strikes a balance between work and play. The Pandora gets reviewed in episode 76 of Gadget Review. Working mobile is a trend for many. PC makers have made lighter devices that emphasizes on battery life. However, when you need that muscle to give you that extra computing mile, Ultrabooks are never going to get you there. Dell has marketed the Inspiron 14 as a gaming laptop out of its higher-end Alienware offerings. The device doesn't sport fancy lighting or some kind of crazy form factor, which doesn't make you look awkward when you are carrying the device out for work. The laptop has a nice matte soft touch to see, which can attract fingerprints. Its thickness reminds us of some old Dell laptops, which looks really heavy. But in fact, the Inspiron 14 weighs in at 2.2 kilograms and measures 28.9 millimeters at its thickest point. It is considerably light for a gaming laptop. In terms of hardware power, our Inspiron 14 has a Haswell Core i7-4710HQ 2.5GHz quad-core processor, 8GB of DDR3 RAM, a terabyte hard drive, GeForce GTX 850M graphics with 4GB of GDDR3 dedicated memory, a beautiful non-touch matte 14.1-inch Full HD display, 1.3MP webcam, and a 6-cell removable battery. Input ports include two USB 3, one HDMI 1.4A, an audio combo jack on the left, one USB 2, Gigabit Ethernet port, and a DVD writer on the right. As a gaming laptop, Dell has installed two powerful Max Audio Tune speakers and a subwoofer. Its keyboard, unfortunately, is a standard backlit full-size keyboard with no programmable buttons. Dell has also given users easy access to the laptop's RAM and hard drive compartment by removing a single screw at the bottom. As a daily driver, the Inspiron 14 delivers impressive performance at most of the tasks we threw at it. Due to the lack of a solid state drive or catch buffer, startup speeds and app launches are slower than usual, but still acceptable in most cases. Speaking of gaming, the GTX 850M graphics chip used on the Inspiron 14 is based on the first generation Maxwell chip. It's a shame that this isn't the one that uses GDDR5 memory, hence the affordability. You'll still be happy to know that things like Nvidia's Battery Boost, GameStream, and Shadowplay is available for the chip, which means longer battery life in gaming, streaming your games to an Nvidia Tegra powered tablet, and recording your gameplay up to full HD resolution without lag is achievable. Combined with the Core i7 quad core processor that sports a turbo boost up to 3.6 GHz, the Inspiron 14 is a solid performer in most games on high graphics settings in full HD resolution. We tested on games like Bioshock Infinite, Great Autosport, and Tomb Raider in optimized graphics settings by GeForce Experience and managed to achieve 40 to 60 frames per second in games. The keyboard is nice to type on and sensitive enough for gaming. Its touchpad is also precise and sensitive as well. Thanks to Nvidia's battery boost and Optimus technology, the GTX 850M chip kicks in when a game is running on battery and maintains a playable 30 frame per second frame rate. Last but not least, the overall gaming experience on the Inspiron 14 wouldn't have been perfect with its powerful pair of speakers and subwoofer, which produces some decent amount of bass and realistic sound with max audio enhancement. The Inspiron 14's non-reflective matte display produces great gamma and color reproduction. Brightness is also good for outdoor usage. The lack of a touch panel didn't actually bother us that much as it isn't necessary. The full HD resolution is sufficient for multitasking and while Windows 8.1 is terrible in display scaling, we appreciate that Dell didn't include an even higher resolution display for the screen size. Battery life on the Inspiron 14 is excellent. We managed to achieve close to 5 hours of combined usage in a conservative manner. A full HD movie playback would kill the battery in 3 hours, while gaming on battery will last you around an hour and 45 minutes. Dell has again impressed us with the Inspiron 14. The laptop offers decent computing and gaming performance at an affordable price tag of 3199 ringgit. While not being a true gaming laptop, it is an awesome purchase if you are on a budget quenching for a decent gaming performance on the go.
it won't be a lightweight companion, but you can be assured of getting things done faster. The Dell Inspiron 14 7000 series gets a score of 8.7 out of 10. Hey everyone, this is Warren from KL Gadgetar and I hope that you have enjoyed watching the video review of the Dell Inspiron 14 7000 series. However, if you would like to know more on the laptop, we do have a website called klgadgetguide.com So do head on to the link down below to read the full text article of the Dell Inspiron 47000 series gaming laptop Till then, if you would like to support us, do help us by clicking on the thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button right here on the one down below That's faster, of course And you can also follow us on social media right here We are on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram at klgadgetguide Till then I'll see you next time in our next video, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Ciao!